The Western Conference Semifinals Game 1. The Phoenix Suns earned their bid into Round 2 after a hard-fought six-game series. Now, the stakes are greater, the challenge that much tougher, as they prepare to do battle against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The opening game of the Conference Semifinals, up next. These teams are prepared for an epic series. Two of the West's very best clashing in Game 1 of the Conference Semis. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, the arrival of Chris Paul to Phoenix turned this team into a contender. Coach Monty Williams said, quote, he's brought such a winning mentality. Off the court, on the court, lifting the level of our team. I don't have enough time to talk about everything that he has done. Brian? One of the all-time greats, Allie. No question about it. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Edwards and Anderson fill out the perimeter, and it's Conley in at the point guard position. And for Phoenix, the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with Josh Okoge, and it's Aiden in at the five, roaming the paint. So Phoenix will get the first possession Paul passes to Aiden and Mike Conley picks up the foul that's his first foul well, that was a quick foul for him there the refs are certainly calling it close here's Aiden Durant, Durant, Durant. 
Outside Paul from deep. Bear with a rebound. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. And the shot goes in. What a unique combination of height, athleticism, and ball skill. The ring can make some unbelievable finishes because of it. Now here's Gobert. Gobert with a screen on pole. The free ball. And there's Anderson. That one's good. On the assist by Conley. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Okogi. Here on the first, a little over a minute played so far. Paul, shot is off. And the Timberwolves with possession. Gobert passes to Edwards. Anderson for three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. It's Booker on the wing, guarded by Edwards. And that's good. Devin Booker for three. Yes, yeah, so good to see Booker knocking down the corner triple. A go-to score with considerable range. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Edwards. Outside, Conley. Towns is screen on Paul for three. Conley, pure from three-point range. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Booker. Nice shot by Durant. Well, he's capable of scoring from anywhere. Durant's size and touch make him a prime time threat inside. Conley passes to Towns. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. And some solid defense from Towns. Kicks it out to Anderson from behind the arc. That one misses. He's one for three. For Phoenix, they've gone three of six from the floor. And here's Aiden. Pass to Paul. Aiden with a screen. Unloads from 13. Paul, shot is off. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Towns for three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Durant, 11 feet out, and he hits it. Durant's got six. The Timberwolves have gone two of six to open up this game. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. The three is up. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. The Suns have gone four of eight and looking in control. Edwards against Booker. Now Paul. 4-3. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Paul is a more than capable three-point shooter now. He does not need much separation either to get off his shot. And Minnesota calls time here.
Minnesota with the ball. They trail by six. From deep, Conley. And Aiden pulls it down. Phoenix has gone two for four from range to start things off. Kogi on the wing. Anderson covers. Fires for three. Paul can't get it to go. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Here's Anderson. Lays it up and banks it in. Anderson's gotten his second bucket of the game. When he gets room like that, look out because he will score. Paul for three. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Edwards, a pass to Anderson. No good on the triple. The Suns have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Down low. And it's slammed in by Durant. You know, why settle for the layup when you're this close? Durant might as well just turn it over and punch it home. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Booker. And the basket by Gobert. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Pass to Okogi. Outside Paul. Here's Booker over Gobert. It's blocked by Gobert. And just a top-tier shot blocker in the league. Gobert's massive wingspan is a huge reason why he wipes away all those shots. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. Defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound the rock. Over to the wing. Out of bounds. The Timberwolves will take it. So it's Minnesota now. They trail by one. Pass to Anderson. Back to Edwards. There's the three. Hits the three-pointer. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Durant. Give him eight points now. Boy, that's a tough take there by Durant. He gets off the shot as finesse coming into play there, and he's able to draw the foul as a result. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from shoot, distance. Shoot. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. And he makes the first. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scorers this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. Ross, he's checked in for the Suns. Payne comes in for Paul. And both free throws good for Durant. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Conley against Payne. Outside Conley. Pass to Towns. And Durant with the block. Well, that'll get everybody on the bench fired up. They love to see KD playing some D like that. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Towns for three. The rebound by Devin Booker. For Phoenix, they've got six of 14 in so far. On the wing, Durant. Jacks up a three. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Conley. From deep three-point range, Durant pulls it in. Durant's got five rebounds tonight. And here's Aiden. And Gobert with a block. To the inside. Stolen by Ross. Here's the break. The three. Gets the three ball to go. And the Suns lead by three. 
Tell you what, Ross covers Brown in a hurry. A nanosecond. Edwards with it. Durant covering from deep. Conley. No good that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Outside Payne. Pass to Aiden. Booker with it. Three-pointer. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Right side Conley. Takes a three. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Durant. Ross finds Booker. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That'll be a second foul of the game. I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. Phoenix calls timeout. Phoenix making some changes. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Lee in for Booker. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Outside Payne. Back to Aiden. Outside Ross. Beyond the arc. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And that's where Ross has been most efficient. Raining it off the catch. Love it. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Anderson can't get it to go. The Suns on offense. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Now Payne. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Aiton, a screen on Gobert. For three, Warren. Oh, and the jam by Aiton! Hey, T.J. Warren is definitely a scorer. He's got a shoot-first mentality. And he'll give it up if you're open. Pass to Anderson. Gobert inside. Defended by Payne. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Now here's Payne. Now Aiden. Outside Warren. Aiden with a screen. And it's Warren missing. The Timberwolves trail. To the paint. It's stolen by Warren. Pass to Payne. Back to Warren. Aiden, a screen on Conley. Warren's got space. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Reed, a screen on Ross. Kicks it out to Anderson. Here's Edwards. Up and in on the layup. And now just a four-point Phoenix lead. Boy, you like to see Edwards doing work on the glass, hitting the boards there, using his strength and athleticism to extend plays. Pass to Aiden. Outside Warren. Three-pointer. Sinks it from distance. He does not lack for confidence. Anymore. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous score. Conley passes to Reed. Now here's Edwards. Shoots. And again, it's Minnesota converting. And, you know, succeeding in the catch-and-shoot game will really help Edwards set up his drives to the hoop. Outside Warren. This one for three. Anderson pulls it down. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting only 39% in the early going. Ross against Edwards. Let's the three fly. Counted from distance. Edwards got 10 points in the game. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Pass to Warren. 34 seconds left in the first. Kept alive. Aiden. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. Aiden's got his second basket on the night. I mean, come on. A seven-footer with a 7-5 wingspan. Aiden beats everyone to the ball and converts easily. Edwards can't hit. The Suns leading. 
Outside Payne. Pass to Aiden. Three seconds left. And Gobert with a block. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Suns on top. Up four. Let's take a quick break. And then it's on to the second quarter after this. And we're back with you folks as this exciting Western Conference semifinal game rolls on. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too. Thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. Here's Conley. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Ross in at the three slot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Edwards. Trailing by four. No good with the triple. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Here's Paul. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got eight rebounds in the game. Pass to Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Booker. Down for three. That one is off. Now the Suns take it the other way. Outside Durant. From outside the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Durant's got 13 now. There is no limit to where Durant can shoot from, which is what makes him really dangerous when he's got the ball in his hand. Anderson for three. Knocks it down from distance. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Ball finds Durant. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds now. Edwards, a pass to Conley. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Let's it go from deep. And Durant hits from deep. He's got 16. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first quarter. He's now got two for the game. Edwards against Booker. Towns a screen on Booker. Edwards a pass to Towns. The shake. And Durant with the block. And he gets it back. Textbook up fake there. Towns does a great job imitating his usual shot motion. Earns himself a trip to the line. First one falls. You can tell Towns is a true modern-day player. He's got a diverse skill set, and he can do so much more than you're used to seeing from a guy his size and his position. Okogi's checked in for the Suns. So he gets them both. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Towns against Durant. Pass to Okogi. Launches a three. Minnesota with a rebound. Now here's Anderson. Give him eight. Here's Conley. No bear with it. He's covered by Aiden. And out of bounds. The Suns will take it. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Boy, you got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on this block. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to Okogi. Now Durant. On the top. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. That was Bad mm. intentions. Mm. Mm. Tell you what, when Durant is feeling it, he puts on some swagger. He's going to let you know he's got it going. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Conley's got six. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. 
Aiton, a screen on Edwards. Booker for three. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Conley. Outside, Anderson. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his sixth rebound on the night. Booker with it. Here's Paul. Here's Durant. And he banks in the layup. Durant's got 20 points. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. He's been absolutely relentless. Pass to Towns. From deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. They've got some ground to make up. And shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Ball against Conley. Shoots from 12. And Aiden gets it to go. Six points for him. Minnesota's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Pass to Towns from the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used this contribution. Here's Paul. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. And now it's a seven-point Phoenix lead. Chris Paul's mid-range game is good as anybody's in the league. Once he sees an opening in the defense, he gets busy. Right side, Anderson. Pass to Gobert. Stolen by Ayton. And he's going for the oop here. And Durant with the big finish. Boy, a dynamic wing with freakish length. Durant is the ideal alley-oop target. Booker against Edwards. Now here's Towns. Takes the three. Another miss by Minnesota. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. Durant's shot is off. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Conley. Driving inside. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Now Booker. Outside Durant. That doesn't go either for Durant. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Gobert with a screen on Booker. Edwards for three. The Suns clear it. Durant's got seven rebounds in the game. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. The Timberwolves trail. Anderson passes to Edwards. Towns a screen on Booker. And here's Edwards outside. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Time Phoenix time calls out. timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Warren's checked in for Durant. Lee comes in for Okogi. Shamit, he's checked in for Devin Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. McDaniels is checked in for Minnesota. Noel comes in for Anthony Edwards. Outside Payne, Aiton, a screen on Conley. Here's Lee. No good from outside. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Gobert against Aiton. Gobert passes to McDaniels. Puts up a three. Kept alive by Minnesota. And the basket by Towns. He came up dry offensively in the first, but it looks like he's ready to turn it around. Conley against Payne. Pass to Aiden. Outside Warren. Fires the three. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Double team on town. To the wing on the left. Throws it up high. And Gobert with the stuff. 
This is Gobert going to work. I mean, he knows the inside contact can't stop him. Here's Shaman. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And Aiton with the stuff. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. From deep, Conley gets the three to fall. Conley's got eight points here in the quarter. Well, Conley can be a volume score from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. The shot by Payne, no good. And here's Minnesota now. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Pass to Conley. Here's Towns, defended by Payne. And the basket by Towns. Now it's a three-point Minnesota lead. A high percentage shooter from the field, Towns recognizes what good shot selection is. Aiden with it. For three, Warren nails it from beyond the arc. Warren's got six. Minnesota with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Payne against Conley. On the wing, Noel. Let's go with a three. Here's Towns. And they converted last on attempt number three. He's got 11. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Aiton, the screen on Conley. Payne, the pass to Warren. Aiton with a screen. Just five on the clock. Right at the free throw line. And they get it back. They get it again. They shoot again. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. Got to be careful how you guard Aiden. He's so creative at finding ways to draw fouls. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiton is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. And the Suns making a change here. Ross has checked in. So he comes up empty, missing both. Minnesota in the lead. Outside Conley. McDaniels from deep. Yes, great play by Connolly to set it up. McDaniels got himself on the board with a three there. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade. Connolly plays with an old school pass first mindset. Now here's Aiden. Give him eight. He buries it from three. Warren's got six here in the quarter. I like this trend. He's hit two triples this period, has three for the game. Outside McDaniels. Here's Noel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Hey, Warren with the nice defensive effort. Well, the Suns shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. The three is up. Oh, and Towns with the block. Aggressive defense from Towns there, staying all over the shot and getting a clean block. 107 left to play in the half. From deep, Conley. Unable to get that one. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Pass to Shannon. Fifty-six seconds left in the second. Here's Shamit. He's guarded by Conley. Back to Aiden. Shot clock at six. Aiden with a screen. Here's Shamit. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting pretty well at 45%. McDaniels passes to Conley. From deep three-point range. Warren with the rebound. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Here's Shamit. 
Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Conley against Warren. Fires from deep. Hits the trifecta. And the Suns lead by one. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Neither side willing to relent. And that's led to eight leads. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be... Welcome, everybody, to our Game 1 coverage. It's a tight one indeed for the Phoenix Suns. You can see what the plan was coming in. They've made an effort to move the ball. Love the way they're playing right now. They got some unselfish leaders on this team. Makes them fun to watch. Yeah, this is fun. Funner than being next to you, Kenny. Taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone, Ernie, Kenny. You always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. And time for us to get back into it here in game one. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. What a sensational start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. Townsend Gobert, the towering big man at the four and the five. Mike Conley out there with Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Prince in at the three. On the wing, Durant. And the ball out of play. The Timberwolves will have it. Minnesota with the ball. They lead by one. Towns a screen on Paul to the middle. Fade away. And there's Towns on the assist by Conley. Conley's got six assists here tonight. Well, you got to respect and admire the focus of Towns. I mean, he just doesn't get rattled. He just stays with it, embraces the challenge, and keeps coming. Booker, the pass to Durant. Fires in the triple. Durant's got 25 points in the game. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Pass to Towns. Here's Prince. Here's the three. Connects from downtown. Coming into the league, scouts predicted Prince would be a solid 3 and D specialist, and they were spot on. For three, Durant. That shot, no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Here's Rivers. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the wing, right side. Downs for three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Durant's shot is off. The Timberwolves have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Pass to Gobert. They swipe it. Here's Okogie. Now Durant. Covered by Towns. Good on the shot. Durant's got five points now in the quarter. Well, that's par for Durant. I mean, that's what he gives you. The ability to score at all three levels. Towns for three. Sinks the tray. And the Timberwolves lead by four. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Here's Conley coming off the Suns' mate. Downs a screen on Paul. The three, Conley, and Aiden pulls it down. 
Hayden's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Paul. Outside Durant. For the lead. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. Minnesota's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Conley passes to Towns. Fires the three. Prince with the bucket. Prince has got six. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Okogi. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. He drops it from range. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Towns for three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Booker, the pass to Aiden. Back to Booker. Here he goes. And it's good for two. Booker's got five points in the quarter. A creative finisher. Love seeing Booker attack the rim and convert like this. And the Timberwolves call time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. The Suns making a switch here. Payne's checked in. Anderson's checked in for Minnesota. Anthony Edwards comes in for Rivers. Minnesota's gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Conley with the ball, and it's Payne picking him up. Gobert with a screen on Payne for three. Conley and Gobert with the stuff. That gives him a double-double in this one. The floor general Conley, dependable at finding his guys in screen and roll sets. Pass to Aiden. Booker for three. And the Suns get another three. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Phoenix has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. For the lead! Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns with the ball. He's got 21. Anderson passes to Gobert. Now here's Towns. Defended by Payne. Towns! That's good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. The Suns trailing. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. Clock at six. Tries it from 19. Booker missing again. The Timberwolves have gone seven of ten here in the second half. Anderson finds Conley. Launches it. It's hauled in by the Suns. Durant's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Phoenix no good that time either. He just keeps firing from distance. I know he's trying to heat up, but at what cost? And the basket by Towns. You see the way Towns is able to extend over the defense? Just too long, too big to be guarded effectively, especially when he gets this deep. Anderson passes to Conley. Defense! 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 Outside Edwards. For three. The Suns clear it. Durant's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And here's Payne. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Booker no good. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. 
and the shot's good. And now an eight-point Minnesota lead. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Durant. He's got 27 on target from range. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Here's Conley. He's got 11 with a pain. The shot by Conley, no good. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And Booker puts up a deep three. Some solid defense from Edwards. Minnesota's got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Outside, Anderson. The three. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Phoenix calls timeout. Some changes for Phoenix. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Lee comes in for Okogi. And it's Ross in for Booker. For Phoenix, they've gotten 7 of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Outside Payne. Outside Warren. There's the triple. Edwards pulls it in. Minnesota in the lead. To the right side. From deep, Conley. Offensive rebound. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get into paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Timberwolves? Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. Phoenix is shooting 41% in this game. Outside Ross. Pass to Warren. From downtown. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. When you look at guys who've improved as three-point shooters, Warren is way up on that list. Towns is screen on Ross. And here's Anderson. 4-3. The rebound by Ross. Ross has got four rebounds now. Now here's Payne. It's tipped. And stolen by Edwards. Anderson inside, defended by Payne, and it's good. Two points. Anderson's got ten points here in the second half. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now here's Edwards. Thirteen points in the game. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Noel, he's checked in for Mike Conley. What's up? And that one misses. So much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards. You can just see it. This is a guy who knows he belongs in the league and is hungry to be great. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. And I tell you what, guys, nobody's been more physical in this game than he has. He has been a glass eater. Here's Noel. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Towns for three. The rebound by Ross. Ross has got five rebounds in the game.
Goes up on the baseline, and he drops that one in. Ross has got eight points. Feasting on the leftovers, eating big time. Ross stepping inside the arc and making it happen. Pass to Noel. Puts up a three. Knocks down the triple. Noel's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Anderson with it. A minute 15 left in the third. The shot misses. Durant finds Payne. It's Warren on the wing. Misses the three. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Pass to Ross. Outside Durant. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. KD is so good at drawing contact. You might remember now they changed the rules on that rip move that he perfected. First free throw is good. Paul, he's checked in for the Suns. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Reed's checked in. Both free throws good for Durant. Minnesota's shooting has been great at 58% on the third. Here's Noel. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Edwards. Reed sets a screen. Five to shoot. Edwards can't hit. And the Suns shooting around 41% in the third quarter. Now Durant, 32 points in the game for him. Phoenix no good that time either. Outside, Anderson. Let's it fly. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The T-Wolves on top. They lead by 13. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Terrence Ross is out there with Josh Okogie. And it's Aiden in at the five. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And the three-pointer goes. Paul is superb in the pick and roll. I mean, once the screen comes, he's really good at taking what the defense gives him. On the wing, Noel lets the three fly. Buries it from three. And the Timberwolves lead by 13. <laughs> Woo! That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. No coverage that time. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Outside Paul. Pass to Aiden. Outside Booker. Aiden with a screen from deep. And that's good. Devin Booker for three. Booker's got 11 in the second half. 
Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Phoenix has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Ross, that shot missing. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Edwards. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. And this is exactly what you want Edwards to do, using his athleticism to score on tough defense inside. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. Booker for three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Here's Noel. And it's all from three-point range. The Suns have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's Aiden. Good work defensively by Towns. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. And it's powered home by Towns. Showing us a little bit of everything tonight. Carl Anthony Towns, extremely versatile, taking over at the offensive end. Timeout. Phoenix timeout. calls timeout. Started. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Carl Anthony Towns. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Man, he was really impressive in that win. Setting the tone right from the start, taking this one by storm. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Paul passes to Ross. And again, it's the Suns missing. Defense better watch out. They better be alert. Because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Here's McLaughlin. Edwards fires from way outside. Here's the second effort. And it's laid in by Towns. Towns has got 16 points here in the second half. Towns has excellent size and really long arms, and he uses both to wreak havoc on the offensive board. Drains the triple. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Here's Edwards. Oh, that's offensive interference. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Rivers is checked in. For Phoenix, they've gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Okogi. Now Booker. Charity stripe shot. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Booker's got five points in the quarter. Edwards against Booker. Towns a screen on Booker. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Boy, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident at taking on defenders and finishing. Outside Ross. Back to Booker. From deep. From beyond the arc and then some. Booker's got 19 points. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Booker. Pass to Aiden. Back to Booker. Here's Okogi. Ross for three. Minnesota with a rebound. Anderson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Edwards. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Towns has got three assists in the game. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Outside Ross, back to Booker, over Edwards. Booker no good. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Here's Rivers, he's guarded by Paul. Here's
Here's Rivers. Oh, what a finish in traffic. My goodness. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Edwards against Booker. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. For three, Booker. Towns with a rebound. For Minnesota, they've gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Towns on a screen. Here's Edwards. Ooh, Paul with the block. Chris Paul such an outstanding defensive player. And his teammates appreciate that he gets steals, but he also can occasionally get a block shot, too. Now here's Aiden. Now here's Ross. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Nice shot by Okogi. Okogi's got his first three points of the game. Knocked down that time by Josh Okogi. He's been working on that jump shot, and you can tell, trying to be more consistent with it. Pass to Towns. Takes a three. Drills it from deep. Towns has got seven points here in the quarter. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Ross passes to Booker. Fires the three. And the Suns get another three. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. And Minnesota calls time here. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Ross. Rudy Gobert's checked in for the Timberwolves. Mike Conley comes in for Rivers. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Allie, thank you. Minnesota has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Towns a screen on Booker. And here's Edwards outside. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. He can't seem to find the range here in the second. He did a great job in the first, hitting three from outside. And out of bounds, Minnesota will have it. The Timberwolves shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Back to Edwards. And he converts the layup. Edwards got 10 points here in the second half. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Paul with it. He's picked up by Conley. Booker for three. No good there. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's foul number two for him. Here's Conley. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Towns with the ball. Here's Edwards. And there's Towns on the assist from Edwards. Edwards has got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Conley against Paul. Pass to Aiden. Inside. Durant. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Towns into the lane. And it's Towns with the power finish. Towns is especially dangerous when he's cutting to the rim like this. Really good mobility for a big guy. Durant with a screen on Edwards. Outside Durant. From outside the arc. Nails it from three. Durant's got 35. What a performance. Hit two from beyond the arc in the first half, and he's added three more since. Pass to Edwards. Outside Conley. From behind the arc. Phoenix grabs the miss. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Paul passes to Aiden. Here's Okogi. Six on the shot clock. The Suns need to get off a shot. Durant's shot is off. 
And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Minnesota shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Outside Conley. Outside Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Booker. And here's Edwards outside. Drops in the three. Edwards got 11 points in the quarter. Well, that was a bomb from Edwards showing off that deep range. Pass to Aiden. For three, Booker. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Edwards. Oh, what a hammer. Oh, man. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. Phoenix calls timeout. They're down by 22. 151 left in the fourth. Some changes for Phoenix. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Aiton. Ross comes in for Okogie. And it's Shamit in for Booker. And Phoenix has possession. Paul finds Durant. Back to Paul. Screen by Durant. Outside Ross. Fires the three. And that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. Uh, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Anderson gets the bucket. And so they get all the momentum in their corner opening this playoff series with a win for the Timberwolves. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they have to be pleased with how they got this series started tonight. A nice 1-0 lead. The key now is to carry the same energy forward and get that second win. These are the playoffs, so you can't afford to relax or think you've got the series in the bag. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for Carl Anthony Towns. Boy, from a scoring standpoint, he was absolutely sensational. Made the game look easy tonight. Now here's Anderson. Pass to Conley. Here's Gobert. Anderson with it. Guarded by Ross. Just five to shoot. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. And there's Anderson. That one's good. On the assist from Edwards. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep. To have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Left side, Conley. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. And it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown... All right, Allie, thank you. Time for us to say goodbye. We hope you enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.